Thank you for watching Orchestra's how-to series. Um, in this video, we're going to be discussing how to do an end-of-year close using SAP Business One 2007. Uh, the first thing we need to do is check that our posting periods are in an open state. Um, an open state in SAP 2007 is defined as a closing period, an unlocked period, or a period which is unlocked except sales. Any of these three constitute being open. Um, and so we're going to check 2007 and all of 2007 sub periods. So 01, 02, all the way down to 2007 12. We're all in a closing period, so we're good to go. Um, next, we're going to go down to utilities, select period end closing, and we'll note that the last period end closing we ran is actually saved. Um, and by default, all of our PL accounts are selected. We can unselect them all or reselect them all uh, individually or all at once by clicking accordingly. And we can also see individual account detail by drilling down to the different drawer levels. Um, this way we could omit specific accounts from this end of your close. Uh, we're going to select our period, in this case, you know, excuse me, 2007 from 2007 uh, January, subperiod 1, through 2007 December, subperiod 12. We select our retained earnings account and our period in closing account. Uh, the period in closing account is the account that SAP uses on December 31st to move all of the entries from the P&L into the period in closing account. And then on 1-1 one, one of, I should say 1-1, one, one, um, on the first day of the next fiscal period, it moves um, those entries into retained earnings from the period in closing account. So we're going to say execute and it's going to give us um, a list of P&L accounts that have balances and if we approve them or not. Did they look correct? Um, in this case I know they're correct and for consistency I like to set my due date to the same day um, as the posting date for the run. This is not necessary, only the posting date um, is controlled by the system and is mandatory. Um, sorry, these two dates are mandatory, but they can be whatever they, whatever you choose. So we say execute. The system is going to make the entries for us, and they're good to go. We can now exit the utility, and to confirm that everything happened as it should have, we're going to go into our financials and do a financial reports. Um, I find a good one to check is the balance sheet. So we're going to run our balance sheet on 12.31.07 and we're going to compare it against the balance sheet on 1.1 of 08. So we're going to open up a second one here. 1.1.08. Now it's very important that when you run the balance sheet on 1.1.08 that you select this add closing balances. Otherwise, the system is going to be blind to the fact that you have moved um, the, the entry into retained earnings because the system did a closing entry. It's a special kind of journal entry that the system can do, um, and it doesn't see that. On 1-2, you'd be fine because no entry that the system performed for a closing entry happened on that day. Uh, but 1-1, one, one, we need to check it. And let's see what we got. So we go down here to our retained earnings. The profit period is empty. And we have a total surplus in our retained earnings of 8,256.04. So that looks pretty good. Now let's look at uh, 12.31.07. On 12.31.07, we have a profit period of 366,770 and a retained earnings of 358,514.31 uh, credit balance. So those make a net difference, 8,256.04. We can safely say the system did everything as it should have, and we're good to go for the next year. All right, uh, thank you for selecting Orchestra's How To Series, and I hope that was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to email us at info at orchestrateam.com or give us a call, 559-477-4256. Uh, we look forward to talking with you, and have a great day.